Melissa Rose, who was uh, coaching with Aaron a couple years ago. Good poem, brand new, and please give it up for my best friend. Um, and thank all of thanks to all of you. Um, this is actually um, the first time I've ever read this poem um, to an audience, and uh, so I just want to say thank you for being here and sharing it with me. <laughs> Waiting for a miracle is the bear trap holding shut the whimper in your throat. It's the heartbeat on the Doppler, the silent moment as she fumbles for a pulse. Astronauts keep tethered to their transports like babies in the womb, fearing the possibility of detachment into the vacuum of space. So while you float, suspended in my abdomen like a dead, quiet explorer, while the ultrasound tech space remains emotionless, I squint my eyes, trying to see a life that isn't there. A still, silent swimmer, still defying gravity. I was told that we are the stars of the Earth, that there is a spark, a reason for our composition. You were a universe tucked inside a sarcophagus, a great idea never to materialize. I wished names for you, tacked them onto dreams and sent them into the atmosphere like a secret tied to the tail of a balloon destined to explode. Three months you moved, and then three weeks a mummy inside this warm tomb. Hope is an ugly word. A promise God doesn't intend to keep. A cross-fingered umbilical cord cut, an abortion you don't choose. That leaves you with a blood orange turned inside out on the floor of the bathroom, skin cherry, cradling an underdeveloped stone, rubber band bones, and more red than you've ever expected to see. The cramps came like a sledgehammer to an aquarium. I held my breath as I prepared for the impact, wondered why I wasn't worthy, why my arms weren't strong enough to hold you or at least hold on as you leaped out of me. Five hours I crawled from the bedroom to the beige tile to the toilet with the knowledge that all of my labor would only result in death. That what gushed out of me was all three of us in the life we could have had, a possibility ripped out from under me, the heavy sting of guilt, of ignorance, full coffee cups and wine glasses that gutted me, the death selfish silence of the father who told me our relationship was over the moment he found out the news. I mean, you were not just tissue, you were my baby. How lucky are the few of us who get to taste the air, but I've never felt more empty, more alone in daily hormonal detoxes, a cruel reminder of who I've lost. It will take weeks until I begin to forget your presence inside me. Others' well wishes lingering like ghosts, the slicing shards of my failure at motherhood, picking up the pieces of a miscarried future like a shattered fishbowl that slipped through unsteady hands. An astronaut's helmet contracted into dust and the devastated possibilities of a hollow womb. Thank you. Give it up for Lee Knight Jr., everybody!